Hey, what's up guys? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. I'm speaking a little bit quiet, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But I am uh, currently sitting out here with all the lights on. It's dark out. Don't know why I got my sunglasses on. Bit of a random video for you. So, uh, short story. Um, I'm building this toroidal coil winder, which I'm almost done with. Uh, it's turning out really well. And uh, I was on the way to the hardware store and needed some clamps. And on the way there, I was like, hmm, I think I saw a TV sitting out by a person's house. It was inside a fence, but it was sitting close to the trash cans. And I drove past it pretty fast. I got a glimpse of it, and I was like, that kind of looked like a plasma TV. Um, because the back is uh, really open with grates, so you can see inside really well. And you could, you could tell there was a lot of electronics in there. And it looked really thick. <clears throat> so I went to the hardware store, didn't find what I was looking for. And on my way back, I thought, you know, I really shouldn't stop and look at this TV. But I did it anyway, thinking, if it's a plasma, it would be fun to experiment with. Um, if it was a regular LCD TV, I wouldn't pick it up. There's some aluminum scrap in it, but nah, not usually worth it. So I picked it up. It's a hundred and 40 pounds. No one was there to help me load it. Um, I got permission to take it. So I thought, yeah. And I, like I said, I wouldn't have, but it's a plasma TV. They're a little more hard to come by. I don't even know. I, I guess they still make them, but they're pretty cool. And I brought it home, plugged it in, started messing with it, and it comes on. No problem. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, I don't want to take it apart if it's working, but I really don't have a good use for it. It's a 55 inch plasma screen. Looked it up. It's a $10,000 TV. So, what do I do with it? <laughs> well, let me give you the short story and the small tour of my current little space that I have here. So, I'm sitting outside of my little shed, all right? show you what the inside of the little shed looks like here it is it's a mess right now it is exactly um, five feet this way and uh, well and then this way front to back oh, I'm sorry it's five feet this way and it's eight feet this way so it's a five by eight this space, this little square space you see right here is actually three feet. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, can't really work in there. Um, I just installed a computer in here because I want to do my live streaming more often. Uh, and then I've got a monitor there when I'm working on this side of the room. And I happen to install a monitor here when I'm working on this side of the room. Um, and that's beneficial. So this is hooked up to this computer right here. And it works, uh, works really well. Um, I actually had a solid straight state a solid state drive I put in there and man this computer believe it or not is the same computer I've had in my shop for years matter of fact it is the same TV I'm sorry the same uh, computer that was in my old shop out in the out in the in the cold and all that back in my old Indiana shop so and then you walk out here and you've got the uh, um, the little bit of, of space that I have here. And you can see I have a drill press out here and I got it covered up. Don't have anywhere to put it. An old press that eh, it works. And I've got a little workbench out here, a little vise, and just you know, just enough workroom out here that I can I can work out here. And then of course I've got the, the sh uh, you know the space out here where I can work. But I thought to myself, you know what? I think I'm gonna hang the TV right there. <laughs> so why did I do this? First of all, I didn't want to just trash the thing if it worked. And I've been hanging my laptop out here on some brackets just to see the chat room when people are chatting in the live room or in the live uh, in the live feed. So yeah, pretty stupid. Now this is a hundred and forty pound TV. And I put it up here by myself. 
So if you'd like to figure out how I did that, you can watch the live stream. It's very long and there's a big dead spot, but just scan through it. It's pretty silly. I was even thinking about time lapsing it, but nah, I'll just let you go watch it. It's on the live channel, by the way, where I do everything live. So basically, I've got this old um, laptop that I've had for a long time. I didn't want it sitting out, so inside of the shed hangs the laptop. And uh, I've just got a few cords here. Um, I've got a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. I've just got them connected. And the really cool thing is, if I can get this off here without breaking it, here, uh, let's hit this button first so I don't actually break the thing. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if I can do this without dropping it. Because I got one hand. Oh, come on. I got one hand on the camera. It's, it's a bit strange. Hold on, you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm gonna have to set this down. Oh! Set it down. Alright, here we go. Ah, it's a bit hard to get off. Anyway, so now I've got the I've got the laptop. Sorry if this footage is a bit whack. But this is just a docking station. You know, so now I can use the uh, probably went to sleep. I can use the laptop as it is. And what I want to uh, bring it out here and use it. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Where you at? Where you at? There it is. It's a little sketchy just just hanging there, but I used to build. Used to work, or used to work, I actually had a, uh, a a desk that I rolled around. It was on a battery backup, and I used to do all my programming for the PLCs on it. <laughs> and I used exactly this laptop and dock. So, there you go. And, uh, of course, I can just close this thing. And, uh, yeah, now it's safe out of the weather. Yeah, this is completely silly, to be honest with you. It's kind of, it's kind of dumb. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit silly, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do the silly things. But yeah, and actually, it looks pretty good. It's on full screen right now, but uh, the only thing I did notice is that when the screen is white you can see how it turned a little gray and it makes a little buzzing noise so I don't know how long it'll last. It was actually out in the rain for a day or two. It had a lot of dirt and dust on it so it's been sitting outside for a while. But uh... I'll we'll just go watch this one. So the resolution is only set to 360p right now. Hey, you can't complain about that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about the random video if you guys don't like this type of thing, but I thought some of you would like this. It's a $10,000 TV, and I just didn't know, really, I just didn't want to throw it away. Scrap it, I mean. They do have quite a bit of aluminum in them, but this one didn't have as much as I thought. That's actually my computer that's making it jittery. Anyway, if you guys like this type of randomness, let me know. I know some of you really, really do, and some of you really, really don't. So, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If I post one of these every once in a while, I'll try to do it for something if it's only interesting, of course. Alright, peace and love. God bless you guys. One man's trash is another man's treasure. And for what I want, as a chat monitor, it's perfect. exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, look forward to more interesting things. By the way, I'm trying a new microphone and a widescreen lens on the new camera. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you what the lens looks like. So I'm recording in 4K. So let me screw this off. So with your guys' is, uh, there's the difference. With your guys, it's gonna fall backwards now because it's heavy. With your guys' donations, 
I gotta be careful. I was able to uh, to buy this lens. It was a two hundred and fifty dollar lens. Panasonic. It is for this actual camera. Um, it is just one solid giant chunk of glass. And uh, it is top notch quality. It doesn't deflect all the the angles and stuff. So let me show you. Doot. Big, big difference. So that's the uh, that's the new lens. In case you guys are wondering, and the microphone I'm using is actually a cheap microphone. So I'm gonna unplug it and let you hear what the audio sounds like without it, and you can tell me if you like it better or worse. All right, so. There's the original microphone, and um, yeah, I've been talking on the other mic. Actually, let me show you what it looks like. It's a cheaper mic. Um, actually, came in a uh, came in a kit. Um, turn it off. Came in a kit. This is what it is right here. And yeah, look. So with that lens, you can still uh, you can still do really good focusing, and you have full zoom functions oh and by the way the TV doesn't flicker when you look at it it's flickering on this on this camera for some reason but it's not flickering in real life the only thing I did notice um, was there's a little bit of green spe speckles everywhere and actually I wanted to show you that so anyway this is just a fairly inexpensive mic and uh, it's got two options long and short and it was on the uh, oh boy it was on the short, which I've tested. Uh, I got some test footage I'll be po po posting online. Uh, I've already got a bunch of footage with this camera online, and then uh, the microphone um, is also on there. So if you guys want to test out, see, test out, see all the test footage, let me know. Oh, I was going to show you the little green speckles. Can you see them? Don't worry about this flickering. That has to do with the frame rate. But do you see all the little speckles? little green speckles flickering all over the place okay well there's what it sounds like with me behind the camera with the factory microphone I think I like that microphone so let me know what you know let me know what you know man I cannot talk let me know what you think down in the comments oh, totally random totally fun I was gonna actually film something else tonight but I'm kinda feeling tired I've been staying up since midnight or one o'clock every day for the last week and a half trying to get stuff done all right, don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like this kind of thing. And I'll see you later. No editing. Ah, ah, ah. This will be an easy upload.